Hi, I'm Robin with Robin's Re3. Welcome back to Second Chance Saturday. What I'm going to be doing on Saturday is I'm going to take an ordinary item and I'm going to repurpose it. This is actually an antique um, minnow bucket that I found at an estate sale. So, what we're going to be doing, and all I could find were snowflakes, but it's not going to matter. Let's hope these work. I'm going to actually put lights in the bottom of this and hang this out the back. Yay, it works. So I have a way to turn it off and on at night. But this is really neat because I don't have to drill any holes in this to let the light shine through because the holes are already there. So, I'm actually going to be gluing a couple of styrofoam pieces in the bottom because we're going to make this into a primitive looking Americana design. Sorry, that does make noise, doesn't it? <laughs> All right. So there's one Dollar Tree disc. Looks like we need more glue. And all I'm doing is gluing them on top of each other. And then I'm going to put this big one on top. And I'm not sure. Let's just check this out. I may need a third one in here to get the height that I'm looking for. Just make sure. Nope, a third one should do it. So three Dollar Tree discs, styrofoam discs. I'm trying not to glue the lights or my finger. Alright. Then we have another styrofoam disc. Now this would be cute as a planter. So there's all kinds of things you can do with this. I've seen people take the lid off and make light fixtures. There's a lot you can do to repurpose a minnow bucket. There we go. And actually the snowflakes, the plastic kind of adds a pretty, um, pretty effect on the inside. Now I've got some geraniums, I've got some blue flowers, I've got some white flowers that I took coffee to. I have some flags I also took coffee to. And what I want to do, and, oh, and my stars. I made some stars and I darkened them. Then I took Mod Podge and I Mod Podged the fabric to the stars. These are great for getting in tight corners. These are by Fiskar. These are the scissors I freak out if I lose. Because I use them a lot. Okay, and then I'm going to round my corners. Now I put some coffee stain on it and then I also painted it a little bit because it didn't get the the darkness that I wanted. So I wanted them to look grungy. I could also paint them with um, cinnamon.
Hell. Now, if I was going to put this anywhere else other than there's a hanging hook that I have out there, I would actually add some um, stone to the bottom to weight it down. All right, we've got our three stars. Looking old. Okay, now I'm thinking I'm also going to put my rooster in here. He's very antique looking. He's rusty. I love rusty. Now, actually, I want him back here further. So let's just add a little glue to him as we're pushing him down. He's just the right height for in here. Then I have some um, English ivy that I'm going to put in there. So I want this to kind of drape down. And it's a good filler. It's also a, an old time filler. So it kind of lends itself to my design. I want this to look nice during the day, but I also want it to uh, look nice at night. So I don't want the next piece to be as long. Now, let me turn that around so you can see what I'm doing. I'm actually going to put my flags in here, which I probably should put a little glue on the bottom. And I think I'm going to put them off to the side here, like that. Then we're going to add our florals, just to give it a little more texture. I'm going to add about three geraniums over here. And I don't know if you can see it, but these geraniums actually have a middle that looks like a red star. So we've got that there. Now, I also took the coffee to this because I wanted this to look dirty. Now with this, I will actually poke a hole I may have to go back and add my spikes. So see, very simple. Put a blue one in the front there. Let's add a hole. And put that in front. And I want to find the longest piece I have because I want that in the back. If 
you had an outlet nearby, you would be able to um, add a plug if you had plug-in lights. But where I'm putting this, probably won't be any lights. So that's why I'm going with a battery. I think I want another piece of this in there also. Just, just a little fill in to kind of And I'm going to put one in the back. Vintage containers make great items to repurpose. So I'm going to kind of bring that up so we frame out the chicken. And you can see I don't have a whole lot in here. far as greenery and such. But just something to put outside my door for Memorial Day. And you can use this for Memorial Day. You can use this for Fourth of July. You can use this for Labor Day. Very simple. There we go. Now, I have a piece of fabric here that looks vintage. I love this look. And what I try to do is tatter the ends by just taking a piece, cutting it, and ripping it. All right. So what I'm gonna do with this, I'm actually gonna tie it around here. just to kind of add to the look. And I'm gonna put like a simple little knot in it here. Like that. And then we're gonna trim this off it and then we're going to glue these stars right to the front here again to give it that Mar Americana look let's move this over right there I do have videos on my channel from last year, or maybe it was the year before when I did Second Chance Saturday, but you can always look those over. And I kind of want to pile these kind of side by side. And then possibly put that one there. Let me see. I think we'll just glue this to the fabric. There you go. Something old, made new again. You could even put a flower pot in here and put flowers in it also. So there you go. A simple little arrangement made with a minnow bucket. You can find these at estates, estate sales. You can find them in 
um, you know, vintage stores. But there we go. Our simple project. Thanks for joining me on Second Chance Saturday. Look for me again next week. Have a great day. Thank you.